boys and girls and welcome to this week's virtual assembly. We hope you've had a lovely week so far and we have another jam-packed assembly for you this week. First of all, we have a welcome from Mrs Mackay. She's recorded a very special, special message for you this week. We also have our Seesaw superstars yet again. There has been some amazing work being uploaded to Seesaw, so we have picked out just a few to show you this week. We have our choice of the week, followed by a short Lenten reflection with a little video for you to watch and a little bit of information about our upcoming Language of the Month celebration where we'll be looking for some of our fantastic volunteers to help record some special messages for our assembly and keep those special messages alive in our school. Mrs O'Neill and the boys and girls have recorded a very special video all about the rights of the child and an update of that for you. And Miss McGraw and some of the boys and girls from the Eco Committee have also created and recorded a special Eco update for you too. Finally, we have some of our Makaton signs to practice. This week, we have recruited some of our boys and girls in primary four. They have been a fantastic help this week and they've recorded the signs to show you. And you also have some sentences to practice. So if you do practice these in class or at home, make sure to upload those to Seesaw and you might see those in the Seesaw Superstars next week. So we hope you enjoy this week's assembly. Good morning, boys and girls. And welcome to this week's assembly. How are you? I hope that everyone is really well, that you're happy and that you're working hard in school this week. I know that everyone and especially your teachers are very tired and that you're looking forward to your holidays. Next Thursday, we finish school for two weeks. I think everyone might get some chocolate to eat if you're very good. I don't eat chocolate, so I will have some crisps to eat instead. It's not long to our holidays, boys and girls, and I really must say a huge big thank you to all your teachers for how hard they have worked this term. I know that they are looking forward to the holidays and they really deserve the break. But we've still got a week to go, and so that is a week of hard work and excitement and treats as normal in St Kevin's and St Stephen's. Now, last week I set a challenge for our eco committee to come up with a plan as to how they were going to improve our litter problem in the playground. And so, so today I'm going to tell you why I am so keen that we look after our playground. Because before lockdown started and not long after we came into our new school, I did a big consultation with all the boys and girls in St St Stephen's and St Kevin's about what we could put in the playground to make it better. And I got a big long list of ideas that were really practical in some instances and in other instances were not practical. And as much as we would love a heated outside swimming pool, that I don't have enough money in the world to make that happen. But I have got really exciting plans because after Easter, I am hoping that the work in our new improved playground is going to start. If it doesn't start straight after Easter, it's certainly going to start not too long after that and be finished before the end of June. That's what the plans are. So fingers crossed that is going to happen. So the kind of equipment that you can look forward to will be a trim trail in the big playground. We are also going to have a climbing frame with a chute, some fireman's poles, a bit of a rock climbing wall with all in the one big unit with little seats underneath. We are going to have some sensory 
playground equipment for the children in St Stephen's and St Kevin's who like to be much more hands-on and play in a quieter part of the playground. We're going to have a bird's nest swing. We are going to have some musical instruments and musical type uh, games within St Kevin's playground. And we are also going to wait for it, wait for it. We're going to have a big trampoline that's at ground level so that you can go outside and bounce on it. But it means that any of our children who are on, uh, who need wheelchairs or who need support for walking can also access that and join in the great fun with their friends with the support of their friends and their teachers too. So our playground is going to be very accessible, very inclusive and a huge amount of fun. The trim trail looks amazing. And so I am going to ask your teachers to share with you the plans for the playground that I have sent out to them. You will love it. It's a huge amount of work, but we're really very thankful to our friends in Morgan Sindel and Keep Moat and Ashley who are going to help us get that in place before the end of term. So if we look after our playground then just think of all the fun that we're going to have in this beautiful new um, adventure that you will be able to have every single playtime, every single lunchtime. We've got the basketball court, we've got all the bikes and the scooters outside. We're now going to have a trampoline as well, plus we've got a huge, great big football pitch. Playtimes are going to be amazing fun and that completely ties in with your right to play. Play is part of our learning, but it's also very important for our well-being too and I think our playground is going to be one of the best in Glasgow. So I'm now going to hand you over to Mrs McEachran who will take you through the rest of the assembly and I will see you at the end. Here comes the next bit. This week on Seesaw we've had 368 posts added, 158 comments, 485 likes of student work and 54 visits by family members. We hope you enjoy looking at our Seesaw Superstars of the Week. change the colour to pink. Can you change the colour to yellow? Can you change the colour to blue?
going to look at our choice of the week and it could be a joke of the week, a random fact on this day in, a news story from around the world or a quote of the week, a sports fact of the week, a movie or music clip or fact of the week or a guess who. This week we have a news story from around the world and it's a very happy news story. This week we have some happy news stories to make you smile. Martin has this week's happy news and it's a space special which ties in really nicely because last week was science week and some of the boys and girls did some amazing work about space. Stories about rocket testing, space junk and also a Russian cosmonaut. Happy news for space explorers this week. Let's start with these amazing pics of NASA testing its space launch system. The test, called a hot fire test, ran for eight minutes while the rocket was anchored to a tower in the space centre in Mississippi. Awesome. When it finally does set off toward the moon by around 2024, hopefully space will be a cleaner space thanks to ELSA D, the first commercial space mission to remove as much junk as possible from the Earth's orbit. The spacecraft was launched at the weekend to pick up the odd bits of rocket and tools astronauts have dropped. And finally, sticking with the space theme, meet astronaut Barbie. The doll has been created in the likeness of Russia's female cosmonaut Anna Kakina to encourage girls to go into science and engineering. The real Anna is 36 and one of only four Russian women to fly into space. She's due to go on her first mission to the International Space Station in 2022. For our Lenten reflection this week, we have a short video for you to watch. In the video, you'll see what happened to Jesus at the Last Supper, all the way to the Garden of Gethsemane, to his crucifixion and to his resurrection as well.
to live in a city within a country and all be together in the one school where many, many languages are spoken. And we want to celebrate that. So, starting from next week's assembly, we will be celebrating languages. We'll be focusing on different languages, learning some of the words, getting many of our boys and girls to record some videos to share with us and to learn languages all together. We'll also be practicing our Makaton and looking at how that can also support our learning and languages as well. And we're so, so excited to get our boys and girls to help out with recordings for our assemblies. So if that's something that you would like to do, then please, please let us know. In our school, we have been doing a lot of work to promote the rights of the child. Mrs O'Neill and some of the boys and girls in primary four to seven have put together a short video to update you on the rights of the child. The Article School Squad has a very important announcement. Everyone in our school knows how important children's rights are. Our rights are universal and inalienable, and this means that every child is entitled to them and no one can give up them or take them away. Every right is important. Our rights are often rely on each other. For example, the right to health can depend on our access to our right to education or the right to information. We have very exciting years. Scotland has become one of the few nations in the world to directly include the UNCRC, your rights in Scottish law. This gives all of us children and young people extra protection to make sure we are getting our rights. Please watch the following video for more information. Hi, I'm Bruce Adamson. It's my job to protect and promote your rights. You're all born with all of your rights, and the adults in charge have to make sure that you get all of the things that you need to have a great childhood. This means adults in charge should listen to you. They should make sure you get what you need to grow up in life, like good food and a safe place to live. And they should take your worries about issues more seriously. Things like climate change, having no green spaces to play or being able to meet friends. And when things go wrong, you have the power to demand change by speaking up. We want to know how you'll use your power to get adults to change things. So if you write or draw what you want to do with your power and share it with us, we'll tell adults who make big decisions about your life in Scotland, like the people who run the country what you say, and get them to make the changes that you need. The new law in Scotland gives you the power to demand change. If you would like to take part in sharing what changes you, you would like to see, you can do this as a homework task and pass your posters on to the Articles 12 squad. Mrs McGraw and the Eco Committee have a very special Eco update for you. They've made a video to tell you all about Eco and about how we can move forward together as a whole school to work on our Eco journey. When I was in primary five, I was an eco rep. We used to encourage others to put their litter in a bin and that meant we had a lovely clean playground to play in. Because of that, our school got our green eco flag. We, we would like to keep the flag, but we won't be able to do it without your help. Can, you, can we please ask you to remember to put all your litter in a bin? Yes, let's try being more eco-friendly. Here's a short video to help us remember why, why we need to have our have a clean world. Yogo Tars! Eagle and now in Clean Up Your Act, a lesson on littering. Eagle! How could you? What's wrong? Did something happen? I know you probably didn't mean to, but you just littered. Oh, I guess I didn't think about where I threw my bag. Does it really matter where I put it? Yes. We spend lots of time saving the galaxy, but if we're not careful with our trash and pollution, 
We may not have a home to save. Think about it. If everyone threw their trash on the ground, we'd be walking on top of everyone's garbage. Ew! That sounds smelly. That's not even the worst part. If we're not careful, our junk can end up in our drinking water by getting in rivers and lakes and could even hurt animals who might try to eat it, thinking discarded plastic is food. That's terrible. I want to put this stuff in the trash can, but I didn't see one close by. I can see how that would be confusing. I always try to hold my trash until I see a garbage bin and then make sure that nothing ends up on the ground or gets caught by the wind. I love this park, and I want to make sure it's clean and safe for everyone to use. I love this park too. I know you do, Eagle. One of the best ways to show something you love it is to take care of it. Littering is not cool. Sure. I think being a hero isn't just about saving the day, it's also about saving the planet. From primary three. I made this poster for so people can make the play the playground tidy. There's a girl putting me, I'm putting rubbish in the bin and I'm saying thank you. My friend is saying ooh and she's putting trash in the bin and the janitor is saying good. So I hope the playground can be tidy. My name is Emily from Primary 3, and I did this pi picture because so people can keep a clean playground. So one girl is putting rubbish in the bin, and the other girl is sitting in the bench. So I hope people will put rubbish in the bin and put and make a clean playground. My name is Pearl. I made this picture so everybody knows to put litter in the bin. There is a girl putting litter in the bin and the other girl saying, I will help you and they're trying to make a clean playground. So I hope everybody tidies the playground together. Play from primary three. I made this so people can make a better decision. Please don't let her. So I have a girl that is putting trash in the bin. This other girl is saying, um, good job. And she said, thank you. I hope you make a good choice by putting stuff litter in the bin. Hello, my name is Sanad and I'm from Primary 3. I need this poster for everyone to keep a clean playground. This is a boy putting paper in the green bin. So I hope everyone keeps a tidy playground. Remember to put litter in the bin. Good job! So we're nearly at the end of this week's virtual assembly, but before we finish off, we've got just a couple more things to look at. As you know, over the last few weeks, we've been looking at our Makaton signs and a lot of the teachers and the support staff in the school have been working really hard to learn Makaton and to share this with all of the boys and girls in our school. Over the past few weeks, we've seen some familiar faces teaching you and looking over some Makaton signs. 
But this week, I managed to recruit some wonderful helpers from Primary 4 Miss Duggan's class to help me with videoing the signs for this week's assembly. So you might recognise a few faces, there might be some signs that you already know, but we've also added in a few new sneaky signs as well. So keep practising and we look forward to seeing how well you're doing with your Makaton signing. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Biscuit. Biscuit. Drink. Drink. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Please. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Home. Home. Brother. Brother. Sister. Sister. I am going home. Okay. I'm going to the toilet. Mum, 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 dad, dad. We hope you enjoyed watching the short videos of the old and new signs. Now, can you have a go at signing the sentences? Remember to practice at home and in school with your teacher, with your friends, in the class and in the playground and we can't wait to see how well you're doing with your fabulous signing. Hello, how are you? Please can I have a drink? Thank you for the biscuit. Goodbye mum and dad. Hello brother and sister. Well, boys and girls, it's almost time to go home. Keep wearing your masks, washing your hands and keeping apart from people who don't live in your house. Make good choices and keep safe. And I will see you all soon. Bye. We have just one more thing that we wanted to share with you before we finish this week's assembly. When I was in primary four this week, primary four and Miss Duggan were learning all about inspirational people. And the boys and girls in primary four with their teacher were creating the most wonderful posters with inspiring messages that we can read to put a little smile on our face and to make us feel better. So Primary 4 have sent some of the pictures of their wonderful posters and to finish off today's assembly, we're going to have a look at some of their inspiring messages. Music